the newest truck that I actually spec'd out and built has the the. Um, we're running your sander and uh, the plow with the parallel lift and stuff on it and I've had it Three years now, I believe we're going into the third year and that's that's your first parallel lift. Plow. Yes yep. what, what do you think about that? Plow? I won't do anything other than that anymore if I buy a new truck That's what's gonna have on it. And why would that be? Uh, in my opinion it's the best plow on the market right now They're for the durability of it and the bees operation and stuff, you know, when you switch directions with it, it doesn't flop. Mm -hmm. Instead of being, you know, pushing against the two pins on the bottom of it, it's pushing right off the frame rails. It's just you know, everywhere where it bends, it's greasable like it should be. You know, the, the rams, there's three rams on a the plow. They're all basically the same ram. You keep one extra one in stock if you have problems to swap it out. It's just, it's very well made. Um, the first year that we bought that truck was the worst winter we've had up there huh. in I think a hundred years. I put nine thousand miles on that truck in three months. So it snow. got tested out. It the got first year. it got abused <laughs> is what it got. But so um, do you also like the the flat pick hitch the way yes, that system very hooks much up so. on the plow yes. versus having that That's bar not, and yep. the chain? Yep. Thing. Yeah, there's no adjusting stuff for it doesn't flop. I mean, it it stays level. It doesn't bounce when you're driving down the road with it. It's just it it's better than. I did a lot of research on that. I, you know, we had everything from myself, the other counties around there. Autumn pickup, used state equipment and stuff, or even some of the older stuff. We've got some, I think, two Monroes and an old Viking and some other ones. And I, I, I spent a lot of time on the internet looking at pictures and stuff and videos when I was specking this truck out. And mm -hmm. uh, there were certain things about each one of those trucks that I didn't like. Mm -hmm. And so I decided when I built this one, this Kenworth that we're running, that I was going to try to eliminate all the things that I didn't like. And I think I did a pretty good job of it with that. It's a pretty nice truck. But, well, that's awesome to hear. But, Do you uh, feel that you get good service and support out of Hinky? Oh, yes. Yeah. Is there, if there was anybody that was on the fence about trying to decide whether they wanted a Hinky, what would you say to them? I've had several of these uh, other supervisors and stuff from some of the other counties that have come up, and it's most of them. Well, I know uh, Teton County purchased this real similar setup, and I, had, so I told someone, get in the keys and get in and take it for a ride, and that's usually about all it takes. Okay. It, it pretty well sells Just itself. Just check it out. Yeah.